Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, also known as your BFF Steph. And if you're new here, I talk about all things small business. I mainly talk about trucking and dispatching and photo booths, but I also sprinkle in some side hustle ideas as well as passive income ideas. Um, like I said, if you're new here, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram at your.bff.steph. So for today's video, I wanted to talk to you about the most common events you'll get for your photo booth. I mainly focus on the 360 photo booth, but this will be the case for any type of photo booth. So um, for our first event, I'm not sure if it's area based, but a lot of our clients book us for baby showers. Like, you know, baby showers are a big thing. There's always someone having a baby. So I think baby showers might be the number one event we get. It might be different for other people, but for us, baby showers are the top of it. And you don't need anything extra for a baby shower business-wise, meaning like it's real that the coordinator or the event planner will request anything from me. Um, so I say just be ready with your booth, with your props, be on time and different things like that. But there's really nothing extra as opposed to the other events we'll talk about later. One of our top events would be baby showers. We, out of the month, um, we probably, if we have, let's say we have three events in one weekend, most likely two of them will be a baby shower. So baby showers are one of our top events. The next top event would be birthday parties. And that is from all ages. We've done as young as a one year old's birthday party. And I'll say, I'll say the oldest we've gone is probably like 75. I think we did a 75th um, birthday party. But just like with the baby showers, they don't require anything extra. You just come, you give the service, and you leave. Another type of event that we do that might require a little extra would be formal events. So for formal events, I'm talking your weddings, your proms, um, bat mitzvahs, and different things like that. So we've done a good amount of weddings. Um, weddings would be our most requested formal event. And the difference between doing a wedding and a birthday party or baby shower is that the wedding venue will most likely require you to submit your insurance certificate. They wanna make sure that the booth is covered in case there are any injuries or any issues and they wanna see that certificate. So if you've never done a formal event, you wanna make sure that you are prepared. If you don't already have like an on ongoing insurance company, you wanna at least find someone who could cover just a one-off event because most likely you won't get booked for the event if you can't provide what the venue is asking for, which is usually your insurance certificate. So that's a major difference between doing just like a regular birthday party or baby shower versus like a formal event, wedding or something like that. And it's mainly the venue because a baby shower could be held at the same venue as a wedding and that venue will still be requesting the insurance. It's just that it's rare that a baby shower would be held at such, I don't wanna say fancy, but such a formal place. It happens though, we have had to provide insurance documents for baby showers based on the venue. So it can happen, so be prepared for that at any moment. Another difference with doing a formal event is you wanna dress the part. So if we're going to a wedding, we're dressed for the wedding. If we're going to a baby shower, it's more casual. We're still, of course, looking presentable, looking good, but it's not as formal as going to a wedding. So um, you definitely want to ask your customers what the dress code is if they don't outright tell you. I feel like you can assume that with a birthday party or um, a baby shower, it's pretty casual, but you don't want to make assumptions. So don't be afraid to ask for the dress code. But with a wedding, you don't even have to ask a question. Dress for the wedding. Comfortable, of course, but you want to dress for the event. The next and last type of event would be corporate. So corporate events would be our least booked type of event. And I want to change that for 2023. We get booked for corporate events, but not as much as I would like. But for corporate events, they usually want the same thing as a formal event so they want you to have your insurance and sometimes they also want your w-9 form so it depends it could be a non-profit and they request w-9 forms because of the reports that they got to do at the end of the year these are documents you want to have prepared just in case you are asked to present them because if you don't have these documents 
it's more than likely you won't be able to be booked for the event. Even if the organizer really wants to have you, the venue itself has their own procedures and you gotta follow it. But yeah, corporate events are good. Um, they usually require you to get there super early. Um, and weddings do this too. So like they might book you for like a three hour time frame, but because of the many things going on at these events, they'll say, could you come two hours early? So that part is up to you. For us, we have a fee that we charge if they need us there early. So like um, if you need us to come two hours before the event starts, you're going to get charged an hourly rate. It's going to be lower than the booking rate in our case, but we're going to charge an hourly rate because that's more time for us that we don't need to be there. We just need to be set up. So there's different things that you'll have to like learn and tweak and if you need to learn about things like that i have the perfect solution for you because i have a private photo booth facebook group and the link is in the description we have a 30-day free trial going where you can sign up you can check out the group see if it's, see if it's a right fit for you we talk about all things dealing with the photo booths we share secrets it's just a bunch of people who own photo booths or aspire to have photo booths and we also do live tutorials in the class free for all members i do promote them on youtube as well for a fee but if you are a member of the group you get the live class free so like i said the group is free for 30 days and then it's 9.99 a month after that you can cancel at any time no judgment no questions but you can learn a lot from that group so just throwing it out there um, the next live class that we're having is coming in a few weeks and it is going to be about booking sites. So a lot of people are requesting that I explain how to automate their um, websites, how you can just send someone a link and have them just book you without you having to manually do it or go back and forth. So that is the next class that we'll be teaching. And if you're interested, like I said, sign up for the group. But yeah, those are the most common types of events we do. It might be different for you. If it is different, share it in the comments so that we can see um, what other types of events are popular out there and how we could pursue them. Because you know, we all want to make money. We all want to get new clients. There's enough money for, um, there's enough money to go around for everybody. So share the wealth. But that's all I got for you guys today. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave it in my comments and I will reply. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Again, that was at your.bff.stuff, also in the description. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.